Hi guys, this is Virendra. Today I'm going to talk about the largest subset of consecutive numbers. So the problem statement is given a set of numbers, we need to find out the largest subset of consecutive numbers. Okay. So given a subset like this, we need to find out a subset from this such that all the numbers in that subset are consecutive. And we need to make sure that the subset that we find is the largest subset. So in this particular example, we have this subset 1, 2, 3, 4 as the largest consecutive numbers subset from the input set. Before going to the algorithm insights, I would suggest you to think about the problem and try to solve by yourself. Okay, you can pause the video and then continue later. Let's go to the algorithm insights. So we have this input subset, right? And we are going to use a hash table to solve this problem. First, we are going to insert all the elements in this set into the hash table one by one. So we insert all of this in the hash table. Okay. And then we try, we start traversing the array again, one by one and try to construct the consecutive subset here in the output set. Okay. So let's start with one. We are going to see if one minus one Z equal to zero. If it is in the hash, is it in the hash? No. Right. So that means there is definitely a sequence starting at one we add the add one into the output subset and then we start looking for a sequence that starts at one what do we do we add one to one right we get two we try to find two which is the consecutive number from one right we try to get get two if it is there in hash we try to find it in the hash yes two is in the hash right and we add two into the subset then we, we try to find three is three in the hash Yes. And then we try to find four. Is four in the hash? Yes. As and when we find a consecutive number by adding, we add it to the output subset, right? And then we try to find five. Is five in the hash? Nope. So that's it. That is the subset we found, which starts at one. And we store it somewhere else. Okay. So that we can compare all the subsets at the end and then see which is the largest subset which contains the consecutive set of numbers okay let's go to three here and then try to see if there is a sequence that starts at three how do we do that we see if three minus one equal to two if two lies in the hash if there is two in the hash definitely th there is no sequence that starts at three in fact, three is part of some other sequence. We know that three is part of one, two, three, four. Okay. So we don't have to start looking for a sequence which starts at three because there is no sequence that starts at three. Let's go ahead to eight and try to see if seven is in the hash. I don't think seven is in the hash, right? So there is a sequence that can start at eight. We'll try to look for nine. Is nine in the hash? Nope. So the subset that we got from eight is eight. So we go to 14, we follow the same procedure. I'm going to just populate the uh, values here, the subsets. Okay. I'm not going to follow the same uh, whole procedure again for each of the elements here. It's pretty straightforward to follow the same procedure we followed before. So I'm going to just populate the subsets. So at 14, we just get 14 at four, four is part of some other sequence. So we just ignore it there is a sequence that starts at 10 so we get 10 and 11 right as a subset and 2 is part of part of some other sequence and then 11 is part of some other sequence so finally we have these subsets and out of which 1 2 3 4 is the largest subset and that's what our output is let's quickly look at the codes code is pretty straightforward so first here you have this function which uh, takes in the input set okay and then we add all the numbers in that input set into a hash. Once all the numbers are in the hash, we go one by one in the input set. We pick one value and try to see if there is a sequence that starts at that value, okay? By uh, decrementing it by one. If there is a sequence st starting at that value, we, then we try to find the whole sequence here, okay, in this loop. Once we are at the end of the sequence, we try to see if we have found the largest sequence and then we store it till that point okay so the code is pretty straightforward please have a look at the github link that i have provided here okay thank you for watching the video 
stay tuned we are uploading more and more videos uh, as and when possible also please check out our website at www.idesof.co.in we have uh, close to 200 articles there explaining different kinds of algorithms and different questions that can be asked in interviews also if you are interested in contributing please send us an email at idesof.co.in at gmail.com thank you